All right, so you guys chose elimination on this one. So we need to choose first which variable we want to eliminate. X. All right, so we need the coefficients of X to be the same but opposites, right? So maybe the same multiple of 2 and 5 would be 10. So this first equation, I need to multiply by 5. And the second equation, I would have to multiply by 2. Again, that's because we're focusing on eliminating x. So my first equation then becomes 10x minus 15y equals 5 times 16, 80. And then 2 times 5x would be this 10x still minus 8y equals 52. And since we want to eliminate this, technically we can go in, that's a 10, and just change the signs on one of the equations. So which one do you guys want to change the signs to? I'm sorry? The red one. The red one. So I'm going to make that a negative 10x. Now that's a positive 15y. That's a negative 80. So that's why they call it the addition method, but whatever. We're going to add these together, each column. Negative 10x plus 10x, well, that, that eliminated. Is that too sloppy like that? It's very colorful. Uh, 15y minus 8y would be 7y. Equals negative 80 plus 52, 28. Oh, that worked out very nice. Because now when we divide both sides by 7, we get that y is 4. Dang it. Yes, thank you for paying far more attention than I was. Y is negative 4, thank you for that. So negative 4. So let's go back to the two original equations. Uh, so ignore this stuff right here. Which equation do you guys want to use to solve for x? Top one. Top one. All right. So let's rewrite it. We got 2x minus 3y equals 16, but we're going to replace y with the value that we have. And hopefully you remember the negative. Negative 4. So 2x... That would now be a positive 12 equals 16. Subtracting 12 from both sides. And we get 2x equals 4. And divide by 2 gives us x is 2. So that checks off the first one because that gave us a true statement for both values of x and y. So we would want to go into the second equation and just check x is 2, y is 4, and just see if this is a true statement. So 10 minus 16, uh, geez, what the heck, it's the negative 4, <laughs> man, so that would be 10 plus 16, 26 does equal 26, that's true. Now we know, especially if this were a test, that this answer is correct.